Son of a bitch. I could kiss the ground right now. It's probably the craziest cab ride in my whole entire life. This guy and his Toyota Corolla thought he was dominant. Toronto! There's two things I noticed about Egypt overall tonight is that one, the overall decay of the city is a lot worse off than I originally thought being a big tourist destination. Number two is that the semi-truck drivers, I swear they think they're the Honda Civics of Egypt. They're completely lit up full on neon. It's actually kind of cool to see. So let me show you real quick. And the main reason we came to Egypt. Right there guys. There's the giant Sphinx. On the way to go see the pyramids of Giza, but first things first. So they're right behind me, we gotta stop. Pizza Hut. We got back to the hotel room at 2.30 a.m. last night. I was so hyped to see the pyramids in person the next day, I couldn't sleep. So I went ahead and just stayed up the rest of the night and I started my day off early. First things first, I have to say I have very mixed feelings about Egypt. The pyramids are breathtaking. Starting off with the largest of the three pyramids of Giza, it was built back in 26th century BC. It is one of the oldest seven wonders of the ancient world that actually remains largely intact. Constructed with over 2.3 million stones, each weighing in at a total of two to 15 tons. A true testament of human engineering, or as Elon Musk would say, aliens. It happened, extraterrestrial contact. It's honestly hard to enjoy the pyramids with all the harassment. Someone is constantly trying to sell you something and it takes away from the experience. The pyramids are poorly maintained. The guards would allow tourists to climb the pyramids for a simple bribe. The guards are even heavily against video recording because I don't think they wanted anybody to see how the pyramids really are in person. Next off, the second best place in Cairo besides the pyramids, the airport. I just forgot my cigar. So they say the water is not safe to drink around here in Egypt. So what we decided to do was drink some BMBs. And BMB, what is that you must ask? Well, I will tell you guys, it's the most simplest drink that you can ever make. One of the best drinks in my opinion. And I'm gonna introduce Nava to it tonight. Basically you just take one shot of brandy, one shot of Benedictine, mix it together with one big ice cube and you're good to go. Egypt didn't allow drones into the country, I needed an alternative to obtain aerial shots. So I decided on a hot air balloon ride. Next stop was the Valley of the Kings, where many pharaohs were buried, including King Tut. After seeing a majority of the monuments in the east bank of the Nile River, we went to the west bank and walked through the Temple of Karnak. Karnak is definitely a must-see in Egypt. Karnak is one of the world's largest open-to-air museums. If you're a James Bond fan like myself, you will remember in the film A Spy Who Loved Me was filmed here in the scene where Roger Moore fought against Jaws. After Karnak, I walked the full 2.7 kilometers of the Avenue of Sphinxes to the Temple of Luxor. In conclusion, coming from someone that has always been fascinated about Egyptian history and the pyramids, I cannot recommend Egypt for anyone to visit. Now here's why. People constantly harass and attempt to scam you. I thought the Caribbeans were bad, but there is no comparison. These guys will offer unwanted help and demand reward. For example, in Luxor, after we paid a taxi driver, we jumped on a boat to cross the Nile River. While we were on the boat, the boat driver handed us his cell phone because the cab driver was trying to call us. The cab driver told us we did not pay him. My detective test determined that was a lie. The boat driver would not let us off the boat, but once we finally reminded the cab driver we did pay him, he let us off the boat. These guys are very persistent and they are all working together. I understand that people are just trying to provide food for their families, but I believe there are more productive ways to do that instead of providing a bad experience for travelers who paid a lot of money to explore and learn about the Egyptian culture and country. The pyramids and various other historical monuments are breathtaking, but it's sad to see the level of care the Egyptian community takes to preserve them. The roads were filthy, outlined with dead animals and trash in Cairo. 
Both were even piled up and burned along the fence line to the top travel destination, the Pyramids of Giza. I was ultimately prepared for everything I discussed from researching Egypt before traveling here. I was hopeful from what I researched would be wrong, but it was ultimately the truth. I hate to come across as pessimistic, but I just want to be honest and objective towards an acclaimed top travel destination regardless of the historical significance. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like the video, comment below, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.